In this video, I'm going to install Windows 11 Pro on Raspberry Pi 4B. First, go to uupdump.net to download Windows 11. Select Windows 11 here. I'm going to use uh, version 282. That, that version. Cumulative update. Uncheck the home version. Download finish. Yeah, go to W O R Download that one. Okay. And also I need to download boot partition mount utility. That utility I will use use it for uh, overclocking. Now Open and uh, find the download files. This is uh, the, the window 11 zip file. Open it up and copy everything. And also, I create a folder on the desktop. Call, call new folder the Win 11. and paste the files here. Okay, click on that one. It will download the window first. That could take uh, about five minutes. Finish downloading. Okay, now create the ISO file, which could take uh, an hour or maybe longer. Okay, it finish. This is the one you create. The ISO file, this is for installation. Move this to the desktop. Go back to the download folder, find the WOR file, copy everything in this zip file. and uh, create a new folder any name w o r paste it okay So I'm going to install this uh, uh, Windows 11 on the seven. This is the enclosure for M.2. Uh, this is Samsung SSD. That one is uh, about seven times faster than that one. So I will use this one on the uh, Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, connect it to the computer. Okay, W uh, W O R. Fold, open this up. 
run w o r dot e x e. Next, let's see. Next, uh, image file is on the desktop. This one, open. Next, so that one. Accept. Next. Okay, Windows 11 for Pi is ready. Before I can use it, there is an, uh, one, one more thing I need to delete all this. I don't need it. Uh, open the download folder. This is uh, W O R boot. Uh, mount copy the three files create a new folder here paste here Okay, then run this one. Uh. Mount. On the boot, we need edit this config.txt file. This file are already edited and save it. After finish, unmount it. Okay, now it's ready. Okay, connect to the Raspberry Pi. Then let me boot it. Hit the escape key. Before boot into the window, there are something we need to first. Go to Raspberry Pi Configure and Display. Change the display to 1080p. Okay, I already did. Then go to the Advanced Configuration. Limit RAM to 3 gig. This must be disabled. Default is enabled. This must be disabled. Then we can go to continue, go to the window. This is the window 11. I already uh, finished the setup. 
task manager performance. Okay, see this is a two point one gigahertz. That's the overclock. One more things we need to do. Um, I want skip the login screen. So first. Go to the run IEG edit. We need to go to the local machine software Microsoft Windows NT current version password less device. Um, edit this. Well, it's called device passwordless build version. Right click on it. Oh no, this one. Right click on it. Modify. The default value is two. I change this uh, to zero. Okay. Now reboot the system. Now boot, boot back to the window, go run, net pl with, hit enter. Now you see here, that's a user must enter username and password. It uncheck this box and apply. And Okay, they are already did. So next time when you reboot, it will go to the window directory. No login screen. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.